This is the day the Ford government was making its long-awaited announcement on climate change, but that announcement was overshadowed for quite a while here this morning at Queen's Park when a PC MPP rookie, Amanda Simard, suddenly quit the caucus over cuts to the French language services. She's been openly defying the government for several days on this now, another sign of how badly the government underestimated the impact of its cuts. Next question, the member for Oshawa. Amanda Simard Thanks had been refusing to rise for PC standing ovations in the legislature and yesterday supported an NDP motion to reverse the government decision to cancel a French university and merge the French language watchdog into the Ombudsman's office. NDP MPP France Gelena says she saw Simard at dinner last night. I could tell that she was uh, really uh, stressed and under a lot of pressure. Um, she hasn't been here very long. She doesn't know very much. I was trying to find answers. Now, after Simard put out a letter early this morning saying she had quit the caucus, the PC party instantly went into damage control, first telling media that they had voted to kick her out of caucus and then acknowledging it didn't quite go down that way. And this story has been front and center all week long here at Queen's Park, something this government clearly never expected to happen. Your government opened a can of worms, sparking a national debate yet again over French language issues. Did anybody in cabinet say, gee, maybe this is not a good idea before these cuts were announced? Look, we're working hard uh, on behalf of Franco-Ontarians and on behalf of all Ontarians. Did you issue a warning that this might be a can of worms? Uh, I think that all of Ontario was warned that we were going to go off a fiscal cliff if uh, we didn't turn things around. Cabinet Minister Lisa McLeod made a point of noting Amanda Simard has strong ties to Patrick Brown, who cancelled her rival's nomination for the Ottawa area riding and got, gave it to her instead. Let me be perfectly clear. Uh, she voted against a budget bill, uh, the fall economic statement, and uh, that's, that's pretty serious. She made a decision today to be an independent, and I wish her well. It's going to be a very long four years. Amanda Simard now says she will sit as an independent, but you can bet the Liberals would love to have her join their ranks. They only have seven uh, seats. They need eight to be official party status. However, the government just raised that to 12, uh, but you, you better believe the Liberals would love to have her on board. How many times have the Liberals reached out to Amanda since she have, quit I, this morning? I have, I, have not, I have not spoken to Amanda since she quit this morning. How, I have not reached surely to Surely somebody in your party no. has tried to connect with her. No. She's doing the right thing. She's taking the time to think about it. I respect that. Those are big decisions. But you it's also not, but desperately you know, need some seats. I don't desperately need seats. If I get eight seats, it's still at the end of the day, they're going to move the goalposts like they have. It's not about that. Amanda Samard was not seen in the legislature here at Queen's Park today. You can bet she will be courted heavily by the Liberals and probably the NDP as well throughout the weekend. We'll see if she comes and sits in the legislature on Monday as an independent.